Hi guys, it's Justin Gandaro. Welcome back to my channel. And tonight, I'm going to be flat ironing my hair. Now before I start flat ironing my hair, make sure you have a comb and you comb out all the frizz. There might be tangled, well, but once you put this on, it's gonna be really cool. It's gonna be feeling nice. And also, I made this applicator right here. I got it from a website. I'll put in the link below to make for you guys how to make it. So here's what you need. You need an, a, some kind of paintbrush. I got this from an art supply store. This helps you when you dye your hair, you know, like color it, or put some treatment on your hair. Like a Brazilian keratin or a Japanese hair straightening, whatever. I also got my my hair clips right here and my hair pins with my other elastic and this. Also, when it's time to heat protect your hair, I got my chest and may heat protecting spray, my round brush, my new blow dryer, and my flat iron. I got this flat iron, the wet to straight. This is from Remington. This one, it'll, it'll leave it on for like, it'll leave it on for like one full hour. Yeah. And it turns off out automatically. Now, here's how we're gonna get started. Make sure you comb. I did say you have to comb out all of your, all your frizz and tangles, but it might be frizzy, but It'll be worth it. Now you have to part your hair. I'm going to start at the bottom first. Well, first, I want to show you the before. This is my before. Well, it looks straight, but see, since it's Friday, I would tie my hair into a ponytail, but I would wet it because I already washed it last night with my elastic headband right here and some clips to hold onto the elastic head hairband. And I got gel, but now it's standing because it's a little hot in here. See? Yeah. So now, now I'm going to part my hair. Now you start at the bottom right here. Use your tail comb and now, now, now it's time to start applying. Now dip this right here. It's a little cold because I put it in the freezer because I want it to last longer. First you dab it and apply it right here. Now you take your tail comb and then start combing. Touch it your rope, don't worry. And after that, you continue to do the next part. Comb 
on this again. Now take this, take this brush and dip into the applicator and then dab it on your hair again. And comb it again. And then you're going to keep going. So this video might be taking a little long, but we're going to fast forward it. a bun. Take your elastic and tie your hair around like this. See? Now we have to let this soak for like a half hour right here. Time starts now. Now the reason why I am putting this applicator right here on my hair because I do this for like special occasions like um, like New Year's, christenings, you know, baptisms, baby showers, weddings, and of course your birthday. Like my birthday is February 5th, so late at night on February 4th, on the night before my birthday on February 5th, I would do my hair. Then after this, get your shower cap and put it all around and let your hair soak it in for like a half hour and I already started the timer. Now I'm going to clean up. There. I'll clean up. Now we have to wait for another 25 minutes and 40 seconds. So, so I'll check back with you guys in a little bit. All right, you guys, 30 minutes later or a half hour been later, now it's time for me to shower up with the shampoo and conditioner. Okay, y'all. I'm all showered up, I put on the shampoo. I use the Head and Shoulders Dandruff Shampoo because my hair does get a little bit dandruff. It's a good thing. Now, normally I would put on my cream every time I dry my hair and put this on, but this time since I already have the treatment, so I'm not gonna put it on. So right now, I'm going to style my hair. I'm going to Put on my heat protectant spray from Chasseme and also my elastic. Uh, where it is? Where it is? I'm gonna use this to tie it up. First, I'm going to blow dry. Then I'm going to flat iron it. So first up, the Chasemed Heat Protectant Spray. You should put that on first before you start blow drying and flat ironing. And you're also going to need this round brush right here. This is for like, um, for mid-length hair. This one, I used to use this only when you have short hair. So I'm not gonna use this. So I'm gonna use this. Oh, I forgot to 
turn it on. Done this bottom part. Now I'm gonna do the second part like you did when you applied the application. So this might take a while again. So we're gonna fast forward it. Next, I'm going to be doing the flat ironing. This is not done, but it will be done. So, this might take a while again. I promise you. Now, I'm going to speed it up again. quite done yeah well this is the whole thing it's all done see beautiful but this one needs something I'm gonna put on my elastic headband first let me do a little bit more touch-up Shell so I can touch it up. I got my elastic headband on. Now I'm going to have to comb back and put a little bit of gel for the edges. I'm going to put on my clips.
come up with parts. Now I'm going to finish up the touch up. And now, one more. My full elastic thick headband. There's my mask right here, my loose hairs. I'm gonna go clean it up. Now give me, now give me a second. All right, I'm all cleaned up. Oh, I forgot two more things. Hold on. All right, now I'm done. Now look at my hair. It looks cool. That's it. This is the after. All right. To get a shout out in my next video, comment down below. Have you done like a, a hair treatment? Like if you have thick, coarse, wavy, curly hair. If your hair is like thick and wavy like mine, I bet you experienced that too. Now you can make this hair straight tanning treatment yourself. I think I said in the beginning of the video. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.